on this video because you want to learn how to look better in your clothes when you have insecurity so currently at the moment i am listening to 90s to 2000s r&b rap if it will focus and we are watching my boy jalen jenkins on live screen shout out to jalen jenkins he the one that actually gave me the idea for this video so shout out to my boy and we are reading the bible and i figured this would be the perfect time for me to whip out the camera and actually Actually film this video and stop prolonging this video so as y'all can see the title and thumbnail of the video is going to be how to look better in your clothes if you have insecurities because I feel like this is a big thing that a lot of people throughout their fashion journey go through and I feel like this is why a lot of people don't get to where they want to be when it comes to fashion and it's because of the insecurities that they have with their body or the clothes that they are actually wearing so first thing I would like to go over in the video is going to be dress for yourself rather than following popular trends now I talk about trends a lot on videos throughout the channel I'm always telling y'all why y'all should and strictly follow fashion trends blindly. And I feel like this is a reason why a lot of people are insecure about the outfits, the clothes, and even their body when it comes to fashion. So that's why I'm here to tell y'all, do not chase the popular fashion trends. It is okay for you to like a specific fashion trend, but let's say for instance, a fashion trend is popular right now. And it's one of the biggest things throughout fashion, like the Timberland boot, for instance. We all know how big the Timberland is right now when it comes to fashion let's say for instance you are into the timberland boot trend and you're seeing this trend all over tiktok all over instagram all over pinterest it's all over the internet and period and you want to you want to go into this trend but you don't want to be like everybody else because the moment you come into this trend trying to be like everybody else that's when your insecurities start to come in to play so what you could do is you can buy into this trend you can put this trend on the back end of your wardrobe and you can just let this trend sit for a while until it's time for you to fill this trend into your style now by the time it comes for you to fill this trend into your style you'll probably have a greater mindset of how you want to fill it in around things that you are already wearing and then you just took a popular trend and you put it into your style and you're styling it your own specific way so when it comes to you this may not even be a popular trend anymore it might not even be a trend to you anymore this might be something that you're actually enjoying wearing because you're gonna have your own specific ways to style this piece that's why i've always told y'all on the channel y'all always want to put things on the back end of your wardrobe it is okay for y'all to like something that is popular but while it's popular if you don't have your own specific way on how you want to style it and fill it into your style i would tell y'all to put it on the back end of your wardrobe and just let it sit for a while until you have the mindset of putting this piece into your style it's gonna help you a lot i'm just putting y'all along game it's things that i went through a lot throughout my fashion journey it's how i got to where i am right now when it comes to fashion I, anything that i want to wear and it's strictly off of me buying pieces that i like and pieces that i don't know how i want to fill in to my style and once i got these pieces that i really didn't know how i wanted to fill in my style but i did like these pieces these pieces i was very insecure about these clothing at the time but i could have easily got rid of these clothing and missed a lot of gym things throughout my style but instead what i did was i decided to put these pieces on the back end of my wardrobe and i decided to give these pieces some time i just let them sit there and i gave them some time over that time that i had these pieces sitting that gave me time to really process and really figure out how i could fill these pieces into my style and how i can fill them around things that i am wearing and i'm telling y'all that done helped me that done really shifted my fashion knowledge my style is constantly evolving at a rapid rate that i don't even know too much on how to explain to y'all the only reason my style elevates is because of the things that i had to go through to overcome me being insecure with these clothing so that's why i'm telling y'all put the clothes on the back end of your wardrobe and give it some time you're always going to need to give things time just because it don't work right now doesn't mean it's not going to work later on down the line so just put these clothing on the back end of your wardrobe let it let it sit there until you figure out how you can fill it in and figure out how you want to really go by styling these pieces of clothing i'm trying to tell you at the end of the day it's going to help you it's going to make the process a 
lot more easier for you and it's gonna make it a lot more stress free because you're gonna be stressing while you you're gonna be stressing at that time period when you don't know how you want to fill it in and when you don't know how you want to specifically style it because this indeed has happened to me like i've told y'all in previous videos whatever i tell y'all or relate to y'all in videos is things that i done seen or been through throughout my fashion journey so i'm not telling y'all a lie i done been through this with a lot of clothing pieces throughout my wardrobe like for instance y'all seen those gray ranger cartel flare denim that i am always wearing this is one of the first pieces that really helped shift my style because at the beginning of my style i was only strictly wearing skinny jeans and i didn't want to wear any other type of denim so this pair of denim really helped me shift my style and really helped me really step out the box and really get into what i actually like but my instance for me putting this pair of pants in the video is to tell y'all i was pretty much insecure about these pants when i first bought them and it took me about six months to actually figure out what i was going to do with these pants throughout those six months i thought about selling these pants at least three times i'm kid you not at least three times but i decided to just put them on the back end of my wardrobe i started i decided to let them have some time today so until it was time for me to fill them back into my style and then i created the infamous outfit one of my most highly anticipated outfits that a lot of y'all that follow me on instagram like and if you're not following me on instagram and you watching my videos what are you doing go tap into the instagram it's gonna be like right here right here i'm not exactly sure where it's gonna be when i'm editing this video but go tap in on the instagram i am getting a lot more active on the ground so i need y'all to go tap into the instagram but like like i was saying that's my most anticipated fit that's one of my most liked fits on the gram and that was just me here to tell you that i was insecure about these pants and now these pants came from something that i was very insecure about wearing to one of my most worn pants throughout my style so i'm trying to tell y'all if you buy something that you like and you're insecure about it and you don't know what to do with it don't get rid of it put it on the back end of your wardrobe and give it some time and i guarantee you when it's time for you to come back around to filling this in your style you're gonna have a what more variety mind of how you want to style it and how you want to go about wearing these clothes so i'm just putting y'all on game do not be chasing these popular fashion trends and if you're gonna chase the popular fashion trends figure out how you can really separate yourself from the world and figure out how you can really make this fashion trend unique and personal to your style i'm just putting y'all on game next thing i would like to go over in today's video is going to be be yourself and stop seeking validation from others i'm gonna say that one more time be yourself and stop seeking validation from others now this is a big role as to why a lot of y'all are insecure when it comes to fashion and the clothes that you are wearing is because you are not being yourself and you are too busy seeking validation from other people now i'm here to tell y'all that is a big downfall in a lot of y'all's fashion journey this is one of the biggest reasons as to why a lot of y'all never get to that point in fashion that y'all want to get to because y'all are too busy trying to be like the next person and y'all are too busy seeking validation from other people but i'm here to tell y'all in today's video y'all need to cut that out when it comes to your fashion journey and the clothes that you are wearing nobody's opinion matters but yours so whatever you like you should go out there and purchase it because you like it and you feel like you can really resonate this with your style you can make it personal and unique to your style like i've told y'all in previous videos you should always have your own specific reasons for why you are purchasing clothing pieces and why you are wearing it whatever somebody else is saying y'all should be blocking out the outside noise when it comes to your fashion journey the only person's noise the only noise you should be hearing is your noise from your your mouth and your noise from your mind on things that you actually like and what you can really feel and resonate with your style i'm trying to tell y'all once y'all stop seeking validation and y'all start being y'all self i'm trying to tell y'all your fashion journey is going to become a lot easier you're going to have a lot more confidence to go out there and wear whatever you want to wear you're not going to be insecure you're going to be less insecure when it comes to clothing because i'm not saying this i'm not going i'm not telling y'all that this is specifically going to make y'all 100 percent uninsecure because you still may have some type of insecurity but it's gonna help you a lot in the long run once y'all stop seeking validation from others and once y'all start to really be yourself now i feel like y'all and these fashion influencers i feel like these fashion y'all put these 
fashion influencers on a high pedestal and I feel like that's what really makes y'all start wanting to seek validation from others because y'all are seeing all the attention that they are getting from their clothing or whatever type of fashion content that they are creating that's why I'm telling y'all y'all gotta block out everything when it comes to your fashion journey now it's always cool for you to look into other content creators and other fashion influencers to really find your route but once you start to really develop your route, you want to block the whole world out and you want to figure out yourself when it comes to your fashion journey and what route you want to take. I'm trying to tell y'all because once you figure out your route that you want to take, I'm telling you, you're going to one, you're going to be being yourself. Two, you're not going to be seeking validation from others and you're really not going to too much care about what the next person is saying about your outfit or the clothes that you are wearing. So that's why I would, a tip that I'm going to give y'all is like when you're you're going shopping for clothes or you're going to like the thrift store i would personally tell you to go buy yourself and the only reason i'm telling you to go buy yourself is because once you decide to go buy yourself it's going to be a lot easier for you to look through clothes look through clothes and really find things that you really feel like you can really resonate with your style far as if you take somebody you're probably going to be asking them what do you think about this what do they think about this and then if they tell you the truth on how they don't like it and it looks terrible or that's not for you you're probably going to follow off their word and that could have been a gem piece that you really could have added into your style and really helped that you shift your style and really elevate your style to the next level so that's why i'm telling y'all when it comes to your fashion journey you got to figure out yourself you got to be you and you got to stop seeking validation from others y'all might think you asking somebody about a specific clothing piece that you like is not you seeking validation from another person when in reality you are seeking validation from that person because once that person tells you how they feel about that piece they might tell you oh that piece looks ugly or that piece is not for you that's going to make you become insecure about what you're trying to purchase because of what came out of that person's mouth so that's what i'm telling y'all when it comes to fashion stop seeking validation from the next person be yourself and i'm trying to tell y'all once y'all decide that i don't need validation from this person and i'm gonna buy it because i like it i'm trying to tell you your fashion journey is gonna get a lot more easier it's gonna get a lot more stress-free i'm telling y'all this from experience like i've told y'all earlier in the video and in previous videos whatever i relate to y'all in these videos are things that i've been through or seen throughout my fashion journey so i done seen people seeking validation from from others i was seeking validation from others at the beginning of my fashion journey and then i literally had to tune the whole world out i literally had to find myself that's why previously like two years ago i was in a ident style identity crisis and i was in a style identity crisis because i was too busy trying to be like the next person and too busy seeking validation from others asking people what they think about this what they think about that and i was missing out on gym pieces that really could have elevated my style because i was too busy worried about what the next person was thinking so that's why i'm telling you when it comes to fashion if you want to be less insecure and start wearing anything that you want to wear you gotta first you gotta figure out how you can be yourself and how you can really separate yourself from the crowd and second you got to figure out you have to stop seeking validation from others so stop asking your mom stop asking your sister your brother your best friend your dog stop asking anybody about anything that you see throughout fashion don't ask nobody if you like something go out there and purchase it and i'm trying to tell you it's gonna make a lot of difference when it comes to you and when it comes to your fashion journey it's just gonna make a huge difference i'm telling y'all it's gonna be a lot easier for you to start styling things that you actually like you're gonna be having a lot more fun with fashion and you're just gonna be being yourself so i'm telling you at the end of the day when it comes to fashion bro you're supposed to be having fun and not stressing and you're gonna be stressing when you're not being yourself and when you're too busy seeking validation from others i'm just putting y'all on game now this next thing that i would like to go over is try stepping out your comfort zone now, i feel like this is another big reason as to why a lot of y'all are insecure and the reasons a lot of y'all are insecure is because y'all are too afraid to step out your comfort zone now this is something else that i want went through earlier in my fashion journey so if you are in this point in your fashion journey and you are too afraid to step out your comfort zone i totally get it but i'm here to tell you you're going to have to come up out that phase because i'm trying to tell y'all this is why a lot of y'all start to look insecure about other types of clothes and different styles because you are too busy stuck on one style like i've told y'all earlier and like i told y'all earlier on the channel in previous videos earlier in my fashion journey
journey, I was strictly stuck on skinny jeans and I did not not want to step out my comfort zone. I literally thought skinny jeans were gonna be the only pairs of denims and pants that I wear. I didn't see myself wearing flare denim. I didn't see myself wearing baggier clothes. Now, later on down the line, I figured out how to really step out my comfort zone and really mix and match different styles into my style and look where my style is at now. My style is not exactly where I want it to be, but it's at a specific point and it's at a pretty good point and my style constantly evolves at a rapid rate and I'm not insecure about clothes that I'm buying anymore because I was able to step out my comfort zone but like I said earlier in my fashion journey I only wanted to wear skinny jeans so when I did get my first pair of flared denim which was those gray Ranger Cartel flared denim I was mad insecure about these pants and it literally took me about six months to actually step out my comfort zone and really put together some cool outfits with these pants but my reason for me telling y'all that is because y'all need to step out your comfort zone. Y'all gotta experiment in different styles and different things. So if you are one of them ones that are only wearing one type of denim, I'm here to tell you switch it up. Cause I'm trying to tell y'all once you decide to switch up the denims and the cuts that you are wearing, your insecurity level is going to drop. I'm trying to tell y'all you're gonna start to you're gonna start to like the fitment of different pants and how these type of pants fit on these types of shoes. Y'all y'all get the whole gist of it but what i'm here to tell y'all is y'all really need to step out y'all comfort zone at the end of the day if you want to feel a lot less insecure in the clothes that you are purchasing in, in fashion i'm trying to tell you it's gonna make the process a lot more easier for you it's gonna make it a lot more fun a lot more stress-free y'all get the gist of it but what i'm saying i'm saying is y'all want to feel a lot less insecure in the clothes that you are wearing in, in fashion you gotta step out your comfort zone i know it's not gonna be an easy process of stepping out your comfort zone it's gonna take a lot of time and tr time trial and tribulation but that's what we here for for fashion bro fashion takes a lot of time fashion is changing over time so while fashion is constantly changing over time your style should be elevated and changing while fashion is changing as well but like i said y'all really do need to step out your comfort zone if you are trying to be a lot less insecure and in your clothes if you do not want to step out your comfort zone i'm here to tell y'all you're you're just going to be a lot more insecure and your insecure level is going to be elevating while it should be dropping so i'm trying to tell you at the end of the day y'all got to really step out your comfort zone y'all got to find different things that you can really resonate with your style while you're finding these different things and different styles you want to be figuring out what is the purpose of you wearing these pieces how you can make these pieces unique and personal to you and what and how you can really just fill these pieces around things that you are already wearing because i done told y'all in previous videos Videos. just because you're adding different styles and different things into your style does not mean you have to completely switch the way you dress you can still dress the way you want to dress you, you just have to figure out how to basically fill certain things in and around things that you are already wearing to make these things really settle with your outfits if that makes any specific sense i can make a whole video on that if y'all want that but that was the last that was like the last uh topic i wanted to go over in today's video we like i said that was the last topic that i wanted to go over in today's video i hope y'all enjoyed the video i hope this video really helped y'all when it comes to being insecure and i hope this video really helped y'all drop y'all insecurity level and y'all start to go out there and actually buy and wear what you like and make sure you're wearing this for you and not for anybody else now i know y'all ain't seen no videos in about three weeks but your boy been distracted y'all gotta uh y'all gotta eliminate all external distractions and just lock in and that's what i'm trying to focus on right now so your butt tie not rich is back on the tube y'all i'm not gonna be gone for three weeks no more i promise y'all i promise y'all i will not be gone for three weeks no more but like i did state that indeed is gonna wrap up today's video it's been your butt tie aka tie not rich and i will catch y'all in my next video